if you're a data engineer or aspiring to be one, these five tools are going to set you up for success in 2025. And one of them just might surprise you. Before I reveal them, I want to hear from you. What do you think the five tools that will set you up for success are going to be? Let me know down in the comments and I'm interested to hear what ideas you have. SQL has been around for 50 years, and in 2025, that is not going to change. Now, SQL is the absolute backbone of data engineering, data analytics, and really data science. But what is changing? Hmm. What's changing is how we can optimize and scale SQL and how important that's going to be moving forward. If you're still writing some of your basic queries thinking, that you don't have to worry about performance, indexing. It is time that you pay more attention and level up because data sets are only getting bigger and bigger and the best data engineers aren't just writing queries. They're writing efficient, scalable, dynamic queries that can handle millions and billions of rows and petabytes of data every hour. All right, while Python is not one of the first things that you should study, it is definitely on the top five. Python is still one of the most powerful tools for data engineers, but in 2025, it's all about choosing the right tool for the job. If you're working with small to medium sized data, Pandas is great, it works wonders. But if you're dealing with huge data sets, you're going to need to look at something like Polars and PySpark, especially if you're moving into Databricks. Let's not forget that Python is also the key for automating a lot of your ETL processes and workflows. Building ETL pipelines and integrating with cloud services are things that you're gonna need Python in order to be able to do. If you're not using it yet, if you've not skilled up to this level yet, it's probably time that you start as we move into 2025. Apache Spark. If you don't know what Spark is, if you've not touched PySpark yet, it's time to do so. For handling massive data processing workflows, Spark is the go-to tool. With its parallelism and efficiencies that you gain from it, it is absolutely a need-to-know tool and resource. It is built for distributed computing and it makes it perfect for your ELT and ETL processes, your batch processing, and even real-time analytics. So if you're working in a cloud environment, something like Databricks or even Snowflake, make Spark one of the things that you learn as we move into 2025. These tools make Spark much more accessible than it has been in the past. And if your job involves working with massive data sets or real-time data, Spark really should be in your toolbox. All right, DBT. DBT is another one of those tools that you may not have even touched yet. It is becoming much more popular and it is gonna continue that popularity as we move into 2025. It really takes your ETL and your transformation to the next level. And DBT, which stands for Data Build Tool, is really leading the charge here. If you're moving data and transformations away from your traditional ETL tools and into your data warehouse, then DBT really does a good job of making that process much easier than it would be otherwise. With DBT, you could write SQL-based transformations, create modular pipelines, and version control your data models, which is incredibly important. It's becoming an industry standard, so if you haven't explored it yet, now is the time to do so. All right, tool number five, I'm kind of giving you a choose your own adventure piece here. You could either go with Apache Airflow, which you have probably heard of, or you could go with Prefect, which you may not have heard of yet. My preference, I like Prefect. It is really cool and it gives you an alternative to the very super popular Airflow that's out there. And if you want to get away from some of those Apache tools, this is your chance. 
once you have all of these tools, you need something to really manage your workflows and Airflow or Pre Prefix are going to be it. Airflow remains the industry standard for orchestrating data pipelines, but if you want something a little bit more lightweight and a little bit more Pythonic, uh, Prefix really is a awesome alternative. Again, I, it is my preference because of that Python heavy uh, piece to it. Both tools allow you to schedule, monitor, and automate workflows. There is a third option out there called Estuary and is a great alternative as you're, I would touch one of these first. Now, if you're dealing with complex data pipelines, orchestration is non-negotiable. You need one of these tools in your tool belt as you move into the workflow force, or if you're a business, one of these tools needs to be something that your data team can handle. All right, now here it is. This is the tool that I said that most data engineers probably have not even heard of, and it is called Mage AI. It's a tool that I've been starting to look at over the past week or two, and I'm incredibly excited about it. I really think it's gonna change the landscape of data engineering as we move into 2025 and beyond. It really takes advantage of some AI processes and tools, really does a great job of having a full scale data pipeline tool where you could do everything from beginning to end. Magi AI is open source and it's gaining traction as a low code interface and its flexibility. It's designed to handle both ELT and machine learning workflows, making really it Again, a tool that is going to change the landscape for data engineers and ML engineers as we move into the coming years. Now, some are even calling this a DBT disruptor. We just got finished talking about DBT, but this really could be a tool that can take over DBT and airflow. So is it ready to take the crown? Maybe not yet. It is brand new. It just got out there. Let me know down in the comments for those of you that have used it, what your thoughts have been. Uh, again, it's something that I'm going to probably demo on the channel in the coming weeks, and I am incredibly excited to get into it and continue to play with it and to show you what it's like. All right, it's time to recap. The five tools that every data engineer should know in 2025, SQL, Python, Spark, DBT, and Airflow or Prefect or Estuary. Now, of course, we have Mage AI that I really do believe is gonna be a disruptor in several of these tools, especially when we talk about DBT and Airflow. I really think it's gonna be a game changer as we move into the coming years. Now. What is the one tool that maybe you're either excited about learning or that I may have left out of this that you think is a necessity for every data engineer? Let me know. I am happy to amend my thought process and always open to that feedback. Now, if you're ready to start learning from some of these tools that we talked about today, check out the Udemy courses that are linked in the description. They will help you to master the skills while supporting our channel at no extra cost to you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more data engineering content. I have a load more of deep dives coming up, including that Mage AI versus DBT breakdown, so be sure to stay tuned. Thank you so much for staying and watching, and I will see you next time.